All right. Rustling my shit on natural instinct. Let's go. Uh. I think I'll go to lower the volume of the game. Seems like a pretty easy uh, gamble, actually. Holy crap! And I dub and I duplicated it as well, so I have two unnatural instincts. I got a screenshot. This and send it to my friend. I think I think it'd be pretty. Okay, um, let's do the other one. Ultimatum's profitable? Hmm? Okay, <laughs> that, that was, that is 26 divs just right there. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, I, I'm gonna do a, a beyond the build. I might as well do it right now, yeah? Because otherwise it's kind of pointless to do a video just showing you I, I profit 26 divines. I, I actually picked these two off the ground. So I picked both uh, ultimatums off the ground, uh, inscribed ultimatums. Uh, I'm doing ultimatums exclusively right now. So what I do is I just run 
uh, boss strat. So I, I revamped my boss strat, uh, boss running strat, a uh, boss rushing strat um, with just this. So it's ultimatums plus boss rushing. And all I do is I do the ultimatum and I do whatever lead content and I go straight for uh, with the boss. So it makes it pretty fast. Uh, I've respect, uh, not a respect, I've changed the, the, the loadout of the build for two reasons. Okay, one, I, re I at some point hit 40 mil DPS plus on the, on the character. And I was thinking to myself, do I honestly need 40 mil DPS? Uh, so the thought process is uh, I would rather get my max hit for Fizz up to at least 20 to 25k uh, and then have like insane levels of EHP that can't kill me with the exception of dot dots. Dam damage over time will always fuck over this build. I'm sorry, but you, the only way to solve that problem is to get Leaf Shade and you can't get Leaf Shade because it's all the way here. Yeah. So, because you can't get leaf shade, you won't really ever have a a, a way to solve uh, for dots. You can like go crazy into life and get like ten k life, and maybe that will buffer your da uh, taking damage over time. Uh, but personally speaking, I don't think like that's feasible. So just focus on content that doesn't have like insane damage over time uh, and stuff. All right. Uh, so how did I get to now? I'm currently I think twenty k. Fizz max it, 21k Fizz max it, and about 60, 57, 60k uh, elemental max it, uh, with about 40k chaos max it. And uh, okay, like if I discover, if I disable recovery on block, uh, my EHP goes to about 867,000. Uh, but when I add, when I click on uh, enable EHP gain on block suppression, my EHP goes up to like 2.3 million or something like that. <laughs> So there are very few instances where I would have a situation where it kills me, with the exception of me walking into like really stupid dots. So I gotta watch out for these stuff. Uh, in ultimatum, there's only like two things that that cre or three things that create dots. So those are the things I I predominantly avoid. Um, the corrupting blades, that one. Um, only on level five, I think it, it, it applies a dot. But beforehand, if as long as you get a corrupting blade immunity, you are actually pretty safe. Yeah. Okay, um, so a couple of updates. I changed all my classes out. I have currency right now, so I, I, I was accumulating currency like crazy. I, I sat on like 50, 50, 60 dibs for a while, uh, and I was thinking to myself, either I create a new build or I just invest in this build, so I figured I'd invest. So I spent about 30 odd dibs also, a um, bunch of which is actually upgrading clusters. So this, these are quick and daily and feed the fury clusters, which are probably the best. Uh, possible classes you can put on this class. Unfortunately, each of them are like 15 or 20 divines. Uh, I crafted one, so I just bought a base and started alt spamming. I got lucky, so I crafted one. The second one I bought for 13 divs, which is also relatively cheap, but that's usually what I do. Um, I got a new Megalomania for quick and deadly and enduring, so uh, really, really strong. Normally, uh, enduring requires you to have to waste one passive or four and you get like stats or something but in this case you like use two passives and you get quick and deadly which is like 15 percent more damage so it's 7.5 percent more damage per point this is kind of worth it i feel for an enduring uh me megalomaniac um <clears throat> uh so now that i've swapped out the abysses uh one i have a lot more health because this has a uh, 170 life uh I have dex from here, which is great as well, because then I can replace the dex here with uh, whatever I want. In this case, currently what I need is coal resistance. Uh, reason why I need coal resistance is actually I swapped out the ring. So I crafted this ring myself. I bought the base for about two divines. Uh, and then I crafted this. Uh, basically harvest crafting for, harvest spam for life reforges. Uh, I landed the uh, recoup T1 and the life T1, and I uh, exalt slam the, the accuracy rating. Uh, then I fill the prefix uh, suffix with a uh, crafted mod, and then I exalt slam again, hoping to get uh, fizz hit uh, fizz uh, attacks. But unfortunately, I got mana, but you know it's still really good. Recoup is really nice for petrified blood setups. Uh, the life is nice, and the life reservation efficiency of skills is really good because it helps you deal with the fact that you don't have the ninety multiplier on the from the abysses. So abysses had not ninety multiplier on the implicit. Uh, you have to kind of overcome that. Uh, you can. You can kind of get that with an Enlightened 4. Problem is Enlightened 4 is 13 Divines. So I was not really keen on buying a 13 Divine Enlightened 4. So I, I found the solution was actually to do this. You get this ring for 12% life reservation efficiency. Uh, and then what you do is you just lower position by 2 levels to 19. And you should be enough. So I can still run uh, Counter Soul Life at 55. 
uh, with this setup. And yeah. Uh, I had to get an attribute quality for this just so I can uh, equip the claw, continue equipping the claw. Still needs a 95, uh, 94, sorry, uh, attributes. Um, 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 um. So for the, the helmet, this actually cost me about two and a half divines. Um, I, yeah, there's not much I can, I can't craft this. So all I did was just uh, hit, just spam uh, Eldritch currency and to get the implicits. Uh, yeah, okay, so with this as well, Chaos is capped. So previously Chaos was like 40 something, now it's at 75. Uh, and all in all, like, this is a lot tankier than what I had before. Uh, but at the cost of damage. So instead of having like 40 mil damage, I have like 27 mil damage. So it's about a 30% loss of DPS uh, with the trade off of it being tankier, way tankier. Uh, and I'm actually quite happy with the setup. I think it being tanky is a good thing, per se. Um, if I do want to seek DPS while retaining the tankiness, the answer is likely to be an Ashes of the Stars. Problem is, an Ashes of the Stars would require me... To, I will lose the life gain on block, so um, some EHP layer will be lost there. But the more annoying part is I'll lose the additional curse. Uh, so if I do want to retain additional curse uh, with, uh, with, with Ashes of the Stars, uh, I would have to find one that has a corruption, which is also really expensive, by the way. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get one cheap. So this this amulet is likely just stay for the moment. Uh, Fatal Blade Anointment is literally uh, what was it? Ten eight uh, percent more damage. So yeah, no way am I gonna get an Ashes of Stars that gives me thirty percent more damage, and I lose the extra curse. So I have to anoint uh, extra curse, which is uh, what was it this one? I have to anoint this one, Whispers of Doom, which oh, I can't anoint Fatal Blade. All in all, it's probably like a, at best, 20% more DPS for the Ashes. Uh, and then I lose block, uh, get life game on block, max block, etc. So I think it's just gonna keep this one now. What else is there actually? Mm. Oh, yeah, one well, last thing. I swapped out the uh, Forbidden Jewels. I used to have inspirational, uh, it was super cheap at the time when I made the video. Uh, so like day three, it was like one div each. Now they're like closer to 10 divs or five to 10 divs, depending on what time of the day you buy them. Uh, so I figured that if that inspirational is that expensive, I might as well just try to sell it off and get a, a better uh, ascendancy. Uh, I kind of POB'd a bunch of them. Uh, Bane of Legends is great, so that's a uh, duelist. Uh, because it also gives you like immunity to fizz reflect so you have more options on maps but what i was really interested in is actually first to strike last to fall for two reasons um adrenaline is like super strong one it gives me intimidate so um because i get a uh, champion intimidate i can actually unspec all of this so that's one point i can remove so i don't have nearby enemies i intimidated while you have rage i don't have to add that so i, I save one point the other thing as well is that adrenaline actually gives you the same amount of damage uh as Bane of Legends, it's thirty percent more. Adrenaline gives you literally like twenty seven percent more or something. Uh, but the difference is that Bane of Legends also the difference is that uh, first strike last the falls adrenaline uh, also gives you a uh, physical damage reduction, so that helps you improve your fizz hit. Uh, the downside to first strike last the fall is you need to find a way of proccing, and proccing is like a bit annoying because uh, you we don't have life last to put life over the. Uh, limit so we can't actually lower it back to low every time so the way I've discovered that, is that I can go about doing this is I have to disable petrified blood and then re-enable it uh, and it triggers uh, adrenaline again so let's say if this expires so three two one okay so it's a bit of a loop uh, it requires a lot a bit more uh, setup to get there um, Bane of Legends, are, luckily for Bane of Legends, you don't need to do anything. <laughs> you just, you just free thirty percent more damage. Uh, but I, I do think the adrenaline is just better, just because of the physical damage reduction and the movement speed and the cast speed. So it, it makes your gameplay a lot smoother. Oh yeah, and that's attack speed as well. So yeah. Um, uh, happy if I happy to replace uh inspiration with it. Inspirational with it. Uh, we'll, we'll have to keep testing and see how it goes. Hmm. Okay, what else is next? I don't 
No. I, I, okay, but probably we'll just keep farming. Uh, I'll, I'll just keep farming uh, uh, ultimatums. I, I do enjoy the ultimatum mechanic. And the funny thing is that the first time I played Glad was actually during Ultimatum League and I did uh, Earth Bleed Earthquake. <laughs> so we're going full circle back to uh, Ultimatum playing Glad all over again. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm just happy to play uh, Glad again for Ultimatums. Uh, I do have to think of a new strategy because I'm going to start get to get bored. I, I think what I want to do is to farm uh, the Foul Cathedral, something that allows me to just chain the Foul Cathedrals to find a Seer. And then I put the seal on Jungle Valley and then figure out a strategy for Jungle Valley. Uh, but yeah. For now, just happy to do boss rushing with ultimatums uh, if you want. Well, if anyone asks for it, I guess I, I'm a bit lazy. I can give the tree for this. Although, you can just screenshot this and just look. I mean, it's not that difficult. And all you literally will do is run two scarabs. You just run these. It's not complex, yeah. <laughs> You 100% ultimate encounter and then uh, two of these. I, I know I have more than two, but because I don't use the rest of the sockets. Uh, but yeah, uh, ground rewards as though you completed two additional rounds. You multiple, you add that by two, so you have a like, as though you completed four additional rounds. Uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed this update. See you guys. I'm out. Bye. Oh yeah, I'll leave the POV in the description for this uh, update.